Uh, I'm an artist working with visual narrative. Currently my work is assembling a range of both personal and constructed photographs taken over the um, last two years uh, to construct a story within the form of a photo book as the end result. Uh, with images ranging from various intentions or contexts, uh, the work titled Between Concrete is aimed to take away the original context of the image uh, and to construct a new narrative through pairing in sequence from start, middle and end, uh, sort of the structure of a photo book. These include personal portraits uh, of close friends, um, yeah, masculine buildings and structures and finally examples of concrete and urban setting. Overall, uh, I think I'm interested in hinting an idea rather than having a clear, defined story, giving space for the viewer to, I guess, to find on their own terms, which I can feel is more potent and effective than reading imagery. Uh, so starting a project all varies depending on the type of work you're doing. For me, noticing what really grabs your attention and acting on that leads to undertaking research. That sort of kickstarts the idea. Uh, so for my work between concrete, the idea started from a number of, I guess, reading both photographic and literal resources, looking at influential photo books and researching about why they were so influential at the time, to various like articles and online-based research uh, of like reviews, conversations, um, and inter in interviews. Um, about artists who are like really pushing the medium of photography but also the photo book as well. So this led to I guess pulling apart and analysing books that have specifically influenced me and my current work. So these works include Mikhail Schmidt, um, Nan Golden and books by Scarlet Publishing. Uh, so following on from this I guess it led to the observation of photography's distinct relationship with poetry being a matter of coming back and discovering new things that's like not really entirely clear for the audience, um, but it's not, uh, I guess, solely giving unlike a novel or cinema. And I guess although my practice is quite visual, I think it is important to have quite a literal uh, backbone and reference point that sort of explores historical and current conversations in photography. And so just take inspiration and really narrow down of what you really want your work to be involved in, but also relating that work to scholarly research which can really strengthen what you are doing and uh, take the work elsewhere for you. I guess you'll encounter all sorts of problems depending on the work you're making. Um, therefore having different ways to resolve these issues. Overall I think by taking in criticism and feedback, um, showing as many people as you can and experimenting and embracing change when it occurs uh, really, really benefits having a fresh pair of eyes that may pull out something you didn't quite consider um, prior to the work. I feel it's a good set of methods to have that can resolve a number of different issues. So for example, my um, previous work in 2018 titled Afterwardsness came the problem of um, autobiographical work. How could I tell my own story accurately since I was constructing a book from archival material about um, two people. So the question came about of how can I ac accurately speak for their experiences as well as my own. So I guess through being open-minded uh, and showing my work in progress, listening to feedback and embracing change led to the idea of simply rather than trying to accurately explain the whole scenario and experiences came about rather embracing this distance between the public and private and hinting to the viewer um, through careful sequencing and material choice throughout the book and importantly what I'm leaving out and what I'm distancing I think is a good, um, good example uh, a process of experimentation with my current practice simply ties down to where to put each image and to realise the form of a photo book as the end result, thinking in terms of sequence, um, structure and flow, and how images, I guess, are in communication with one another. I think it's a matter of balancing between uh, what narrative I'm constructing, but also distancing any clear sort of expectation for the viewer to work with, where being open-minded um, it's important not being able to, to ground yourself in a particular idea and since things change naturally I think that's all part of the process I think it should, should be something to embrace yourself in. Currently at this stage of my work my studio is located on my desk where piles of mess have accumulated around my laptop, um, my bookshelf where I go back and forth for inspiration and references um, and also my bedroom floor having images laid out across to realise the photo book. Uh, I think the aim of 
making a physical thing is quite necessary to have, I guess, physical prints laid out on the initial stages. And yeah.